Hello friends. So today, uh, just doing a little video, I uh, got a special package in the mail. There's a little bit of a story behind this. Uh, just at, uh, received my GSO 12. It's about um, six years uh, waiting for this knife. Um, as you can see here, I've got my collection on the table. Um, these aren't all my knives, but uh, these are most of my outdoor knives. Um, got an SE here. Uh, that's the SE Hungulus. And uh, I've got a number of my uh, GSOs on the table as well. Uh, I've still got the uh, GSO 10 on order. Um, not sure when that's going to come. But uh, anyway, I thought I would do uh, just a quick unboxing video for you today and um, yeah it's a long time in coming and uh, um, I've been waiting to open this box here um, figured you know six years um, can wait a little longer <laughs> uh, definitely the uh, sheen has worn off <laughs> over the six years waiting for this thing but um, you know as you can see my hunglus is uh, it's definitely used um, I do use these knives outdoors. Uh, we've got uh, a lake property and uh, there's a lot of forest. So um, we clear uh, bush and uh, cut it up, burn it, um, camping, um, fishing, whatnot uh, up there. So uh, I do enjoy these knives and uh, I do feel uh, that uh, Survive Knives does have a, a great product. I do stand by their product. Um, very very high quality uh, they have very high standards but uh, it definitely interferes with the manufacturing process and six years to uh, wait for something that you paid for is um, in my opinion um, completely um, unacceptable but anyway it's here now and uh, we're gonna open the box and show you what's inside yeah so before I get started here I'm gonna make a little bit of room um, I'll just go over the knives that I do have. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the uh, SE Hunglus. Um, it's about a 10 inch uh, cutting surface. Um, the next one here is the uh, GSO 7 of 7. I've got a couple of the GSO 5.1. Uh, one is uh, the CPM 3V, and the other one is a, a CPM 20 CV for uh, wetter conditions. Um, the next one. Um, third from the right there uh, is the um, the GSO 5 um, that I got as an ugly Betty um, I must say that I cannot see anything wrong with this thing um, it may be under the scales um, but uh, it was it was a good buy and um, you know one of my go-to knives definitely one of my favorite knives uh, then I've got the GSO 4.1 and the Necker. Okay, so I'm just going to clear a little spot here. Okay, I'll just move these up a little bit. Just kind of keeping the, the blades at the same uh, level there. So you can kind of get an idea of uh, the length if you're interested in that. Keep these up to the line. So idea and I'm just doing this on my phone so it's not going to be great quality here um, in fact uh, the box is almost too big to get into the frame here well, it, it is but too big to get into the frame here but I'm waiting to open this thing and the day has finally come there were no uh, duties on this uh, was uh, classified as a tool, uh, so anything coming from the U.S. as a tool um, it doesn't have any duties, and uh, did have to pay the tax, uh, but uh, that's understandable. I'm trying to figure out how to get this open with one hand. Okay, here we go. This is wrong way around. Okay, and just like all of my other survived knives, uh, comes in a nice box um, with the
talking. Uh, not sure why this thing keeps zooming in on me there. The packing material. Nice job there. Got the uh, shipping information and quantity and whatnot. As I mentioned, I do have the GSO 10 on order. I ordered uh, this in uh, May of 2015. Uh, some part of me thought it would never come. Um, kind of wondered, you know, getting older here, um, would there be a possibility that this thing could actually be shipped to my kids after I pass away or something? Uh, kind of ridiculous. Uh, you know, just totally exaggerating there, but you know, it makes you wonder, you know, six years to, to get a product. Uh, I am totally happy that I, I've got it, but um, you know, how long does it take to make a knife? Anyway, these are great knives. Um, it's a huge chunk of CPM 3D. Find that to be a, a really excellent steel, very durable, holds an edge very well, and uh, in my opinion, is is very easy to sharpen. Um, yeah, so here it is. It's beautiful, high quality Kydex sheath, um, just like you're used to. Um, I can see already on the back here, they've, they've changed up the, the clip system. And I, I'm kind of glad about that because um, I've got uh, some of my sheaths here. And I ended up purchasing uh, the, the belt loop attachment for this one because I do find that they ride up a little too high. Um, what I do in some cases is I'll actually flip this clip around so that it sits a little bit higher on your belt. Let's see if I've got one here. Here's one where I've flipped it around and um, this will um, be a little bit higher when you put it on your belt, um, which will get the sheath down a little bit lower. Uh, so it's not jabbing into the side of your uh, uh, stomach uh, when you're wearing that thing. Anyway, uh, all right, let's get this baby out. Not that easy to do with one hand. These things are super sharp, so caution and care is recommended. Here it is. A beautiful little bit of a recurve there on the blade. Beautiful tip. A little bit of some kind of scuffing on there. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like oil from the manufacturing, actually. Um, totally unrehearsed here, uh, just to give you guys an idea of what you're looking at. This is a huge chunk of uh, steel. I need to get this in my right hand just to, to feel the weight. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I wonder how heavy these things are going to be. Um, this is, um, it is quite a chunk of steel. It's uh, more of a sword than anything. Um, definitely, probably more than I'll ever need. Um, that SE is, is 10 inches. Um, so, um, you know, it, it the, the length does uh, come in handy. Um, but um, yeah, I think this is going to be the biggest blade that I have. Uh, we've definitely got some machetes, but um, with the machete, it's a little bit flimsier. Um, so you don't get the heft with it, um, but you know, time will tell and, uh, we'll see what this is like to use. It's the, the handle is, is definitely a little bit more aggressive. Um, you can feel it's, it's made more to uh, hook your hand, um, at the bottom here, um, for when you're chopping. Um, there is quite a bit of space in real estate on here um, and, and quite an aggressive um, area here as well um, for the palm of your hand and your 
wrap your fingers around. So I don't know. We'll have to do some testing on the chopping, but uh, I can definitely see this um, Mike doing a great job uh, delimbing some trees and helping with the, the brush, cleaning the brush. We uh, go down a number of trails. Um, we need to clear those trails of uh, all of the new growth that comes in. And uh, from time to time, we uh, we go down some some new areas and, and need to create those trails. So it should be fun to use. Uh, anyway, uh, if you guys um, found this uh, video helpful, maybe I'll do a second one um, just uh, demonstrating uh, the blade in some everyday activities. Anyway, um, take care guys. I uh, hope you found this uh, helpful and um, if you haven't got your GSO uh, 12 yet, uh, hang in there. It uh, looks like they are being shipped because um, I've actually got one in my hands. All right, so bye for now.